love it when Facebook makes a change, right? The good thing is, is we can usually roll with the punches. We can, we can pivot, we can make stuff work, right? So look at what happened to groups. You can see here is one of my Facebook groups. Here is another one of my Facebook groups. The covers are not right. They're not the way they're supposed to be. They're not the way we designed them to look. The words are literally falling off the screen. So we, they changed this yesterday and we've tweaked, we've tested, we've found that the new size of image that Facebook wants for their images is, it is 1500 by 783. So this is the new cover that we've just designed for the Facebook group. So you guys get to watch along as we're gonna upload this into our Facebook groups to update the photo. And then we're gonna go back and change all of the photos that we've got for all of our groups so that the covers are updated and they look right again, okay? So we're just gonna go in here. And again, the dimensions now are 1500 by 783. So here is the new cover. See, I left a little bit of space at the bottom of the cover. That way we can have titles, you can have, I can have an arrow pointing to the get notifications button if I wanted to. Um, but yeah, I put that up there and now we're going to save the changes and there it is. Okay, there it is. The new cover photo is up and running. Let's look at it on mobile to make sure it's as good as I imagine it is. And I'm gonna type, you can see, there it is. And you can see now also why I put the, had the image of it kind of high up on the screen because there's a little bit of space in the bottom where um, Facebook has put some text. So I don't wanna cover up that text there. So we've got it offset a little bit. Hope that helps. Um, again, always optimize your cover photos, your pages for mobile when, um, well, when you're thinking about it. I hope this little quick tutorial helped you guys change and pivot and make your Facebook groups and the cover photos for them amazing.